mix a lot of colors. The whole job is 90% prep. We work from sunup to sundown usually, um, seven days a week. Uh, I've been doing this for um, just about 10 years now. Worked with a lot of different companies. They're all gone now. The, the industry took a big hit with the vinyl. We're an outdoor advertising company that specializes in hand-painted outdoor advertisements. And we're the only company, as far as I know, that uh, pretty much exclusively hand-paints their locations. We've been really fortunate in that um, we found a great niche for ourselves, especially in New York City, where a lot of the traditional billboard locations are uh, used up already. When Colossal first started, it was pretty tough for us to get clients to want to hand paint things because uh, nobody really trusted that we would be able to recreate the image to a photo photorealistic quality. So what we needed to do was create a body of work that we were able to show to the client uh, to prove that we were able to do that. So what we did is we went out and we just painted our own advertisements on walls so that we could have some photos to show. You can really appreciate the craftsmanship that goes into something like that when it's painted directly onto the wall. Whereas the vinyl thing, I mean, I know I can sit on my computer and I can design something like that and have it printed really big. To paint something that large in scale without being able to step back and, and check if it's all lining up, there's a real skill to that. So, well, it made me stop and look at it anyway, so that's a good thing. It's also nice that you, you get to see, um, well, the public gets to see the process of it being put up rather than one day there's nothing and one day there's a final banner. Uh, it's quite nice to actually, as a photographer, I always like to try and get a photograph of it being sketched out in each stage just to document a progression, which I think is cool.